I think we're just keeping the same one. Sup guys. Wonder how um, how are you guys doing today? So I'm just gonna wait a little. Can I launch a second instance of WoW? Hmm. It's gonna be a little bit hard work actually, um, but I should be able to. We're gonna do that so we can start working on uh, on going through the flipping realms today as well. So here, finally found the uh, executable, and uh, yeah, two accounts. Cool, 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 and let's post about stuff. All right, all right. All right. Uh, we're we're gonna have to do like all of the quests and world quests here. Essentially, that's the that's the goal. We're going to do everything that we can do for Rep. Um, what what are these other quests I have here? Alliance players. Gain a bunch of experience combined. This one I really have to work on. Temple ornament, whatever. How am I doing? Oh, I should probably finish off the war campaign as well eventually. Because I really want to get the mount, so I I'll, I'll guess I'll have to work a little bit on that as well. But we, um, we want to get flying first, of course. That's priority number one. So 3,000 rep to go. I mm, feel like you're probably not going to be able to do that um, today. Hey, it's now Newt. Um, um, I'm just trying to finish off uh, Pathfinder with the reputation buff. Because I haven't been playing much BFA li lately. So I'm just doing a little bit of that. And then uh, some BOE flipping and some more gold making afterwards. Already did the Nashatar um, emissary, so this is just going to be quite annoying. I'm just going to do all of the world quests and all of the follower quests and see where that takes me, essentially. Hopefully it takes me somewhere good. Um, what the hell? Why isn't he dying? All right, cool, I guess. Oh, uh, Gilded Seaweed, we're making some gold. I actually keep forgetting that I, I have 900,000 gold on my, um, on my main characters on this realm. I just keep forgetting that when I look at my, the gold I have on my banker, but I actually have 4 million. Um, and yeah. I mean, I've I've had an active account. I just haven't <laughs> played enough BFA actively, um, so I'm still like. I mean, this character is the probably the one that I've played the most during BFA, and it has like pure trash gear because uh, I haven't done any raiding. I haven't done a th single Mythic Plus dungeon in BFA. Um, just nothing this time around. Just gold making. Literally everything I've done. Can we kill this orb? Uh, not 
not quite, not quite. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I figure I have to do it. Or at least work on it. <coughs> Felt good to get like the 3k rep from doing one emissary. So I have the Rust Bolt contract. And Rust Bolt is what I'm missing most rep up with now. So just Rust Bolt and doing literally everything I can in Ashatar, that's the plan. And I'm sure we'll do other stuff um, after that. Where do I get out of this cave? Is there like a second exit? Or am I just gonna get stuck further and further inside? Probably. So let's get up upstairs. This is the exit, isn't it? Yeah. This is the exit. So we're doing kill the critch next, I think. Is that actually for the critch boss? Then I should have picked it up first. What about these rares? Do they give rep? I don't even know how Nashatar works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my BFA casualness or uh, it's really showing. Really quite embarrassing. All right. Kill the critch. Yeah, I have to go back in the cave. <laughs> That's annoying. Should maybe realize that. Whatever. So how much... I don't remember how much rep these um, follow requests give, so that's going to be interesting. Please let me get the tag, please let me get the tag. Thank you. Good. Gone and done it. Critch down. It's a 120 Volpera. Good job, guy. I don't think I even have any of the the BFA allied races. Only gotten the ones that you could get from like Legion reputations. Because that's the last time I played like any meaningful amount of um, of end game stuff. Oh yeah, let's not forget to turn in the quest. That would be embarrassing. Catching way too much aggro here. Did I pick up all of the dailies in New Home? Yeah. Good. Good, good. Oh, come on. Wow. 500 reputation. Holy shit. I'm gonna be revered in no time, aren't I? Oh, got a quest from Nere. Gonna get a. No, no, no. We're gonna jump down and do the um, and do the world quest. Um, I mostly play classic, uh, but how much? Like I, I usually play classic a little bit every day. Um, so I, I raid, you know, guild that's on the casual end of the spectrum. But we clear like Blackwing Lair um, and surprisingly fast, like. We're casual friendly, but there's a lot of uh, semi-serious and serious players, so that's very nice. So probably um, about two hours a day on average, something like that. I'd guesstimate, um, and that's about what I do with uh, with WoW and in, in general. Uh, let's see. We can probably start doing some um, some flipping here while we're waiting. This is a little risky because I can't see what I'm doing, but we're just gotta get in. If we get some aggro or something here, all right. <coughs> let's log in and see what we can uh, can do.
Ravencrest, what are you bringing us today? Oh, nice. Let's see if we can find a group here. Uh, nothing. All right, so we just have to wait. Maybe I'll list a group. Maybe someone joins me. Uh, yeah, you can't grind tokens. Well, you can. Uh, there are people doing trades where they trade gold over between classic and retail. Um, if you're familiar with the WoW Market Discord, there's a, like a channel dedicated to swapping gold. Um, I'm not going to guarantee that that's like within the terms of service though, and if it isn't, then probably I shouldn't have pointed you in that direction. Um, but um, there are people doing that. Um, wow, that group just filled up, didn't it? I can easily still get my tokens, but I have a lot of gold on, on retail, so I just like log in every second day and post all repost BOEs and buy more BOEs and I make a lot of gold. So just gotta finish this one and then I'm I'm jumping on the I'm actually just clicking my rotation button so I don't even have to move here, so that's nice. Strange volcanic rock. I have no idea what that is. No. Hey, lazy, lazy Titan. How are you doing? Hope you're having a nice Friday evening. <coughs> so, there's some stuff to pick up here that doesn't show up on the minimum. That's what I thought. But now we can for sure do this and look at that. That's very interesting. This is one of the um, uh, this is one of the world drop BOEs from uh, from early on. And um, I used to sell a lot of these back during the first the first patch of a BFA. Uh, that was the favorite market I had for BOE flipping. Uh, the world drop weapons. Sadly, they just stopped at like three sixty. Um, uh, or something. Maybe they could go up to 365, 370 item level. Uh, but ultimately, like when uh, honorable combatant gear scaled up, they were, or the one that combatant gear got better, it became completely pointless to to flip these. But wow, suddenly got a sale of one of these for thirty three thousand. That's that's nice. I've been posting that one for a long time. <laughs> so nice to see it finally still. Honestly, I should discontinue this realm. There's Maybe I should start doing material sipping here again with my new setup. Um, I guess that's, it's a little too time consuming. I don't think it's worth it right now. I'd rather start on a realm where I can get started with battle pets, which is much less time consuming. And just do battle pets until I have enough for BOEs. Probably just do be battle pets right now if I'm starting a new realm, um, and not do not do BOEs at all until um, until Shadowlands. At least on a new realm, I probably wouldn't be doing BOEs. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. Sarah. Stimulus. The golden gold. This is a bank alt. Cool gear guy. Should probably level your bank alt to level uh, 10 if you're spending that much effort on it, to be honest. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. It, it can be like that, lazy. You'll have to find something to um, to entertain yourself with then. 
I don't think I've ever done this quest. I'm not even sure why I'd run around in war mode, because I don't ever use it. Um, Alright, so no bounties. So, yeah, let's turn in with a little help from our friends. Honestly, like, we might... Uh, we might end up finishing this way sooner than intended. I, I got 2k rep already today. Or 1k. And it's gonna be more now, right? Oh, inventory is full. I have too much crap on me. Way too much crap. Alright, that's we can sell some trash here, right? I don't even know what the... Uh, what I have on me. Uh, a lot of weird stuff that I'm not not ever gonna use for anything all right let's see what we got uh, just 75 reps so that wasn't too much what that was a lot of loot germinating seed there's just too many different items here to be honest all right so kill 15 snapdragons that's pretty easy do I have how my gloves gloves are looking how are my gloves looking it's already have this might probably be a, a slight upgrade then. Probably is. Oh, Caesar, that's very nice. One million profit. That's um, that's nothing to sneeze at. Grats, man. So we'll be doing some, maybe we'll do some shopping scans. Um, let's see if we can hit revert with uh, Nashatar and then continue. And I think I just want to focus on, on one thing at a time. So we'll see if we can get um, get revert with Nashatar and then we can then go do something else. All right, so I'm going to pick up this ally XP quest first. I don't think there's enough to finish this one. Uh, it could be, of course, but uh, all right. So I'm let's get this off you. All right. So you just talk to them. Nothing. Nothing more. Nothing less. Let's get this off you. Let's get this off you. I have quite quite the army. All right, so now we're probably gonna, there we have it. The merciless controller. <laughs> That's a nice surprise, Lazy Titan. And wow, yeah, 475 rank three crit for, uh, <laughs> for 35,000. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I don't do sniper, so I always have to. Um, well, you have to get lucky with sniper as well, but at least you have. A, I don't have the, um, or I don't have the time to do sniping on multiple realms. I, I don't even have the, the time or the will to do it on one realm. I prefer just going with uh, with shopping scans because they're faster to finish, and then you can move on to another realm. And since I don't have the time to camp my auction house on any of my realms. Um, I just think it's uh, significantly better to uh, um, to just go with a method where you just finish one realm, move to the next one, and uh, and do that. Venom droplets. How many do I need? Ten. All right. This is perfect. I have double quests to kill snapdragons now. This is what you call efficiency, I guess. Oh. Well, and you got um, exceedingly lucky. Maybe I can get lucky today as well. I mean, 35k for a 475 is uh, ridiculously cheap regardless of the corruption. And then you had a um, rank 3 crit. That's a good corruption as well. At least for some classes. Uh, I settle in on the auction house. 
because I do it on multiple realms, so I can't uh, hang around and trade chat. I only have two accounts, um, there's only one of me, so I can't be in, uh, active in trade chat on multiple realms. Uh, so I just buy a repost. Uh, it happens quite regularly, or at least on a semi-regular basis, that I get um, that I get in-game mail from people who want to buy my BOEs, um, and I'll often sell them if they offer a decent price. So that's happened, uh, but of course, um, ever since Classic launched, I haven't really played BFA actively. Um, outside of of reposting my auctions every uh, every second day or every third day or whatever. Let's see, what are we gonna? What are we killing on this quest once we get the poison? Is it the matriarch or just a generic elite? There's a terrible. All right. So, do this one then. This guy is dying. Alright, so, here we have it. The snaplings count? That would be nice. Yeah, they do. And we're gonna be done. Very nice. And cross the ley lines. Now I know how this world quest works. Oh yeah, that's for sure something to consider. That you may want to push sales if you can. Um, you don't. Um, you can do that. Um, certainly very. Um, um, very much something to consider. I just personally, um, I don't have the time and I prefer to, or I'm willing to take the risk, I should say. Um. I've been doing it for so long that I just want to keep my, um, keep my stuff rolling. Uh. <laughs> Removing the corruption on an Echoing Void 3, yeah. Good choice, man. I mean, like, you probably shouldn't... Um, like, you probably shouldn't be removing corruptions at all. Uh, that's probably optim... It's probably never optimal to remove corruptions. Um... That's uh, my opinion, because you want to keep... Or at least you want to... depends on what sort of gameplay you do. If you just do PvE, then yeah, sure. Uh, but you just want to have a large selection so that you can swap them around. If you suddenly get a higher item level piece with another corruption, so now you want to change out a corruption on one of your off pieces, you, you want to have that ability. Um... And then I saw some clips on like a PvP video with corruptions, and I, and I mean like there are some some crazy things you can apparently do in arena with swapping around corruptions and uh, and stuff and stacking them, and it looked absolutely ridiculous. People were one shotting people. Um, made me want to do PvP to be honest, because it just looked absolutely hilarious to just run in there and get like a full uh, twisted appendage, mind flare proc, and someone just melts. Of course, there's no skill involved, but uh, if I want to do like pure skill based PvP, I'd probably pay another game than World of Warcraft. Because there's a huge barrier to entry with gearing and having the right characters and stuff like that. So there's never ever going to be a, a, a completely level playing field anyway. So we got some rep, just 100. Uh, we're just doing the quest lines, or just doing random, random stuff here. Uh, all right, so I need to pay attention. <laughs> Rip in peace. Okay, so now we know this quest requires you to actually focus on your screen and not just like auto run and read um, Twitch chat. So lesson learned. All right, so let's get a cone shell. That's nice. Ready when you are. All right, so I'm assuming we have to dodge these. Make sure we stand inside this. Champion, with me. I can abide with ignorance of 
your companions, but you should know better than to defy your rightful queen. I mean, we made it so far. Does mean this mean we have like a checkpoint here or something? I think we made it. I think we did it, guys. What is going on with this quest window? Uh, right now, uh, let's see how much do I have. I think it's just under 14 million. Yeah, 13.99. Actually, just over 14 million. Because I had 33,000 gold in sales on the first realm I checked. I just realized there's no game sound. Probably should have that for uh, for watching an in-game cinematic, right? Or maybe it's just not on on my end. Well, there is some. It's just really low. I think I've seen this cinematic before. I'll be honest, like, I have not kept up with the lore in BFA at all. Like, I have just a very faint idea of what um, what's actually going on. Uh, my plan for Shadowlands is the same as it's been for every, prof um, every expansion. Like, have a bunch of professions, uh, level them up as fast as you can, and get access to all of the cool uh, new good recipes, and, and just go to town crafting, and then... Find the flipping markets, usually related to high-end BOEs or high-end gear, um, and buy them when they're cheap and sell them for when they're or for a slightly less cheap price. So that's the general outline. Uh, I haven't looked at. I mean, if we get uh, alpha access, then we'll be checking out Shadowlands for sure, um, and take a, a look at uh, at crafting. But until then, there's uh, there's. Uh, I can't really get more specific than that yet. Alright Caesar, um thanks for stopping by and good luck on your journey to the to the long boy. Read I read the wrong. Yeah 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 you did ask for the long boy.
I gotta pay attention to this stuff. This was a long cinematic. <clears throat> hey, Ayo. Um, right now we're just watching in-game cinematics and working on uh, Nasha Tar Rep so that I can finally get flying in BFA. <laughs> They seem slightly ominous. Um, yeah, I played a little bit at the beginning of 8.2. So I got like halfway done with uh, Nashitar and Mechagon rep. Um, and then I stopped playing any endgame stuff because I finished the gold cap challenge. Actually, I think maybe, yeah, I think I did that. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna get slaughtered. Heal me. Save me, Thalistra. I'm gonna get crushed here. Some more rap, good. And uh, well, we can look for some more cone shells while we ride towards the quest to turn it. Um, might as well. And we have to do all of these northern world quests that are, of course, a pain to get to when you don't have flying. And one. Of course I aggroed and I aggroed some more. There's a flight pad up here that I've even forgot about. I should get out of combat. We're just gonna jump up and fly and turn this in. There are so many areas to get these cone shells that we're gonna go to anyway. Uh, 
I have some stuff to turn in in you all as well. There we have it. We got it. Uh, yeah. Will I get out of combat here? Let's hope so. Are you gonna stick in combat? Oh, okay, I have to go fight. We have to fight them. All right. <laughs> I don't really care about looting them, I think. Um, they're on our friend. I think we'll. Uh, I feel like there should have been a flight path here somewhere, but you can't uh, can't win them all. So just fly. Let's fly here and ride down. Start with this one. And I've found all of the follower quests. All of the ones that show up on the map, as far as I can tell, at least. That's annoying. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, this is... Now I remember. <laughs> wow. Uh, too, too fast. What an idiot. Alright, let's try doing this without uh, without jumping to our death. I hear that's all the rage these days. Maybe about without suiciding. Supposed to be more efficient. Deep coil tunnels. Alright. Impressive influence, yeah? I have a lot of influence, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this looks very, very ominous. This is a pretty cool zone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cam, that's what happens when you like barely play endgame uh, BFA. I'm not that far off, I'm just missing uh, 1300 rep with the Unshackled and 6000 with the Mechagon and then I'll be done. I have all, all of the other things, all of the other requirements out of the way. It's this one, right? Yeah. We're playing Bejeweled. These are too similar. Too close in tone. Ooh, two for the price of one. Ooh. That was cool. Oh, we have a um, have one here. I'll probably go for that one. And we're done. 250 world quests. Cool. Oof. This one's going to be annoying to get to. 
at least from where I am right now. Now you just have to ride the, the long way around. I appreciate that AO. Um, I hope it was uh, it was useful. I think a lot of people sub to to get the special offer videos. Of course, it, they're all gonna change in uh, in a while as we go into uh, to Shadowlands instead. But that's the most fun part of, uh, of gold making when an expansion is fresh and you have to figure out how how it all fits together, what you want to do. Oh come on! Ah, Ugh, that's annoying. So, oh yes, we managed to get to a shard where she's alive. Cool. Let's hope the group gets filled because my gear is completely useless. So if I have to, if I have to solo her, then we're in deep, deep trouble. Ah, they pulled. That's a lot of Twilight Devastations going on. Cool. Rip. <coughs> Ripperino. Wow. I just realized it's extremely hot down here. I'm gonna have to uh, to go do something about that, actually. The only question is, what can I do? Like the map seems so big here, but um, it's just deceiving. It's just that there's a lot of detail. All of the distances are very small. But there is a lot of verticality. So riding around on uh, on foot, that's annoying. Eleven hundred. Oh, found the shell. Let's go kill the Nagas. reminding me of the what is it the throne of thunder boss the, tur the, the guy with the turtle shells that you should have to kick into him tortoise right We're probably heading to the north here Hit the opening perfectly. Onwards. So, one more, one more. Oh, come on. We had it! Uh, yeah, I tried to do some mining without uh, flying. For the 30 days to a token challenge, and yeah, that's. Uh, let's just say I stopped doing mining. Uh, trying to do gathering professions without flying in BFA right now is just a complete waste of time. Um, you shouldn't. You should get uh, flying. If you want to do gathering, you can actually do fishing. Because you don't need. Uh, you don't need anything to do that. You can just do fishing. Because uh, you can go fish in the corrupted zones, the, in Old Doom and uh, uh, what's the other one? Veil of Eternal Blossoms, right? So you just go fish there and uh, um, you can fly between schools because it's an old world zone, so everyone can fly there. And so that's ex if that's the probably the best gathering profession farm if you're not. 
Um, if you're not, uh, if you don't have flying. You can also probably, there are probably some spots where you can do skinning. I've never done skinning in BFA. Um, as most of you probably know, or, uh, I'm not much of a gold farmer. I make all of my gold from uh, crafting and flipping. Brinestone deposit. Hungry, hungry hydras. Chitter spines. Oh, so we kill chitter spines and then we feed them to the altar. Cool. I think I'm hitting revert with uh, Nashatar for sure today. So we just have to go to Mechagon and do, um, how many do I have? It doesn't say how many you need. It's annoying. I've never used fishing, or I've never been very into fisher, fishing in, in WoW. I know that, uh, that you people exist, the people who love fishing and worked to get all of the achievements and got like uh, maxed out the uh, the unders underlight angler or whatever it's it was called in uh, the uh, the artifact uh, in legion the fishing artifact well that was a pretty cool thing to add for a profession i'll uh, admit that was very That was extremely um, sweaty moment. Uh, I've had my first successes with BOEs. You just um, you'll go out of it or get out of it eventually. I'm, I mean, if you've gone from two hundred to seven hundred, I wouldn't say you're in a in a hole. Uh, I have too much crap. Wait. Why am I, why am I, first of all, this word sword is an upgrade. Second of all, why the hell um, am I, oh, I can just destroy this chat. Oh, this is, I mean, I could have turned that in for, uh, maybe we can go work on that afterwards, but where is my two-hander and why am I not wearing it? Let's see, does this, is this gear any upgrades? I don't think so. Where's my weapon? Come on. Am I blind? I mean, at least we'd equip the... Oh no, I'm wearing it. I'm just drunk. No problem here then. Feed the dragon and then we get outside. Oh, now we're supposed to ride him. And kill the Crackle Maw Colossus. Look at me, I am the raid boss now. Try to dodge my breath, guys. Oh, can't do it. Like this uh, Crackle Maw Colossus uh, guy is probably yelling at its raid right now. To, like, stand out. Don't stand at the breath, guys. Oh, well, if you're posting it for 4 gold and, and it's worth 20, then... Um, yeah. You probably shouldn't be posting it at all. Did I have the brinestone pickaxe? I guess we just break this just to use the pickaxe. Uh, do I want to spawn him? I guess so. I'm not even sure if he drops anything cool or not. Another Assure. I don't want the Assure. Is 
Oh, let's destroy one of these. Do you think this guy's gonna gank me? Let's hope not, because they would absolutely destroy me. Am I gonna see his summon? Uh, probably not. Doesn't look like that. Like it. No. Asher, I don't need Asher. Jade. I mean, what's the vendor price on that item? Um, the general rule um, needs to be at least like four times the vendor sell sale price to be worth it to post something. Otherwise, you you're just shouldn't post it on the auction house because you're just going to pay way too much in deposit costs. The seven gold vendor price. Yeah, then you need to send it, sell it for... Um, for BOEs, it's actually higher. You probably need it to be like 10 times vendor price to be worth it. Uh, for materials, you can get away with lower because you generally have a higher chance of getting the sale on one repost. Um, but for BOEs, yeah. That is way too th tight. You should probably just vendor that one, to be honest. Take the loss, learn from it. You are um, very unlikely to, to make that cold back, sadly. Fiery, all right, so I still need one more, right? Ah, sure. Wasn't this one, I think I fought this one once and it was like really hard. Might have been on my demon hunter. It probably was. Oh. oh wow. My sound is way too high. <laughs> that probably looked hilarious that I got super startled by the um and uh, by the uh follow notification, so thanks a lot. Or subscriber and um subscriber notification. Thank you so much for subscribing, Eden X. Uh, glad that I could provide some extra um, value for your Twitch Prime sub by uh, getting startled like uh, uh, I'd say like my wife does whenever I sneeze, which is pretty hilarious. All right. Strange oceanic sediment. What is all this stuff? Like, I have no idea what is going on with all of these items. Can I get an amber brinestone shard so I can be done with this? I don't even really want to be in this cave. I'm not sure if it's... Do these things sell on the auction house? Nope, they're essentially completely worthless, like 14 silver. Might as well just throw it in the trash. Can we get an amber shard? All right, so now we're on a more sane um, volume. Thank you for following as well, Eden X. Really appreciate it. I'm very glad to have you with us today. And uh, all right, come on, give us an amber shard now. I'm gonna turn down my volume a little bit and we're gonna turn up the in-game volume instead. Sound. That should be good. I'm out of range. Yeah, that's better. At least for me. Hopefully it is for you as well. 
Now I shouldn't get. Uh... I can't carry anymore. Uh, what is all this crap? Can I get an amber brinestone shard? Uh, this is my well, last chance. If I don't I get it get now, closer. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, I enjoy. Uh, right now, I enjoy playing classic more. But I think that's to a pretty large degree the social aspect because I have a lot of real life friends playing classic and I'm in a nice guild there. Um, gold making wise I feel like there are some things I really like about classic but overall I think um, there's a little more depth and a little more cool stuff to do in, uh, um, in BFA. At least in, so in some areas. Uh, Alright, so the most important thing here is to remember to save your interrupt. Because he has like... There! Algal Bloom. That's the one. You have to interrupt Algal Bloom or you're completely fucked. Every nothing else matters. Gold bloom. Inventory is full. Did it. Right, so now I just have to get out of the cave and uh, grab a uh, flight master whistle. And we have to find an impregnable cone shell and uh, go finish this one. Hopefully there's a vendor here. Uh, nope, there isn't. All right, that's annoying. Let's ride and find the cone shell first. We'll look in the direction that we're going anyway. There's more cone shells down here. If there's one thing I've learned about dealing with Naga, it's that you have to strike decisively. Let's get to it. I want to find the cone shell first. Come on, give me some. Where are you, cone shells? There, there's one, there's one, we got it. I don't care so much about deflation and inflation, like World of Warcraft is always going to be inflationary uh, or generally going to be inflationary. There has been periods of deflation, most target. notably uh, when BFA launched, there was a pretty large deflation because they re significantly reduced the amount of gold that you would generate from, from just having a max level character. Uh, no, Eden, it's called Khalil's Quest Tracker, I think. I don't have LVUI. I've made this myself. Uh, I don't like you doing using full UI mods. I just download a, some UI add-ons and, and make stuff myself. I'm not super... I haven't worked on my UI in BFA in a long time, so it's not like... It's, uh, too it's not that good, to be honest. I need to get closer. Or, well, the basics are what I rated within I Legion, actually, with like this, uh, um, with the, 
I like the unit frame and action bar position, and I have some hidden action bars here. Uh, I quite like that setup. But, like, I, I have a little too much color with the quest tracker and the buff bars. But I should change. Probably if I have something here as well. I can't carry anymore. Uh, no, that doesn't inflate at all, Ayo. You have to buy that gold from other players. It has zero effect on inflation or deflation. Um, or you could say that it maybe it has a little bit of an inflationary effect because more gold is taken out of like rich people's just having the it lying around. Um, but ultimately, that's uh, gonna be dwarfed by the effect of just generating random gold. It's the gold that's generated and the gold that's flowing out of the economy. That's what's really gonna determine deflation versus inflation. And even with the token, we've had the period of deflation when uh, BFA launched and all of the... Uh, uh, we stopped getting the Legion Order Hold gold, which was just insane inflation. Uh, thank you for the follow, Mad Mau... Maupux. Um, so I don't think, I personally don't think the token is particularly inflationary. You could argue that it, uh, it's still recharging. Uh, that it does increase the gold supply at uh, the low end. Like it makes sure that uh, average Joe players has more gold available. Um, but ultimately there's going to be very few people who will primarily finance their day-to-day -day World of Warcraft uh, characters needs by continuously buying tokens at least I wouldn't expect that but um, then again I'm playing from on the EU realms and it's, Can I do it's good to see you, kid. Uh, it seems like a lot more Americans buy tokens for uh, for money than Europeans like a lot So I'm sure, um, but yeah, I'm, I might be weird there. A lot of people are like focusing heavily on like, oh, we, the token has such a massive effect on the in-game economy and stuff You're like that. And for me personally, I just like don't see it or I don't really care. Uh, welcome. Glad to, uh, glad to hear you've been uh, reading the blog. So as you may have noticed, I've updated the, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, I've updated below the stream with a, with a new schedule. So moving forward, we will be going to a regularly scheduled three, three days a week streaming uh, schedule. Uh, it's not going to be Fridays. So this is just sort of a bonus because I hadn't, uh, didn't have time all week and I did have time today. So I just decided to go for a short one. Um, but we'll be streaming on um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at uh, from eight or nine you need me, uh, you know PM CST Central European Summer Time until midnight. So that's going to be fun to Welcome to do this a little more often. And I could have picked up another quest here. That's annoying. Be careful out there. Um, yeah, how much rift did I make? so close so close all right but I can't we're gonna that. skip um skip out on on questing and uh we're gonna log on actually i'm gonna go uh, refill my water and possibly even change into some shorts if i have any down here because it's it's very warm down yeah i do perfect i'll be right back guys
quarantine hair haircut hasn't come through so my uh, my hair is getting too long can't keep it out of my face can't even keep it out of my eyes which is extremely annoying uh, so I collected everything here so we're probably gonna run a quick shopping scan and actually oh we're gonna do one more thing did I close down my other window no we didn't uh, what the hell okay that's interesting okay so we're gonna exit that window and uh, uh, well we don't have to close that we're, uh, we can leave that open for a little while um, good all right so I'm gonna get some some classic crafting going on the other screen because I don't uh, need to play on my main uh, to do the BOE flipping because now it's BOE flipping time already corrected collected not corrected collected my auctions on one realm um, but that's on Ravencrest where I have so little gold that um, it's essentially meaningless but here on Sylvanas we w definitely want to scan so Celestrib 60 corruption that's the max rank one right it has leech which is bad uh, it's not bad but leech but leech makes the pricing um, very untrustworthy but it also has a socket like this one is one rare combination I think this one is r potentially good I don't know how good echoing void is on a caster because it's uh, an offhand and apparently I need to move my microphone a little further away so that I don't headbutt it. Um, and yeah, my uh, my He's classic crafter just has to buy some cr some crystal vials so I can start working. Okay, so do I buy this one? Let's see if we can find some. Uh, are there any other echoing voids for this one? The rank two infinite star, that's pretty cool. Um, no, so it's the only echoing void. Um, I'm gonna take the chance. Let's have some fun. Roll the dice, belt of concealed in uh, 460 with a max rank haste percentage buff um yeah i have to say i think that's good safe travels Um, void ritual. Void ritual is not. Most of the stuff is too cheap as well. Horrifying. Uh, nothing. All right. So I spent spent enough gold. Spent enough gold. Four forty nine k. Yeah, that's pretty good. I should say. So, Sylvanas four forty nine. That's a lot of gold. Groups, BFA, BOEs, mm -hmm. everything into the group. I don't think I'm going to buy end up buying BOEs on every realm. There's a few too many realms here. Ooh. Oh, no. I'm just looking at my classic screen right now and I m thought for a second there that I had so oh I did sell them wow Gurubashi Mojo Madness what's the profit like uh, let's get a calculator up in here and do a 140 over 3 um, yeah that's a sizable profit on those and they sold fast 
Um, that's extremely nice. All right. I have so much stuff I want to craft on my uh, on my classic domain. Like there's so much. I already have bought a bunch of materials for um, for alchemy, and then I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff for engineering as well. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I have a bunch of 8.1 like Battle of the Sarlor BOEs that I think I'm the only one that has that, that specific um, like bonus ID version. On, uh, on all of the EU realms, which leads to some pretty hilarious pricing. Let's just say uh, this little 390 belt is not worth 1.2 million. <laughs> but I'm the only one who has like the Warforged item level 390 version of this one on EU, so I'm just gonna slowly drive the price up because that's what. <laughs> My settings are posting it slightly above my market value or region market value. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, find some way to uh, to fix that essentially in the settings because it's starting to get a little ridiculous. It's a little fun as well. It's a little hilarious. Storms, storm scale. We get crafting here. Mm -hmm. Let's go collect first. All right, so I just I do actually just have three million on this realm. Did I record incorrectly? Oh yeah, oh, whew. I'm not on not on that realm yet. I was I was misremembering. That makes sense. I'm logged in on storm scale right now, of course. Um, we're definitely shopping for BOEs here. Uh, this has been one of the better ones in BFA. This realm has been very good in BFA. Let's see if we can find some B uh, BOEs here. Mm hmm. Abyssal bubblers, bracers. Um, yeah, that seems worth it. 450. Lurking schemers band with that. Uh, it's just 445. I don't want to buy 445 base item level stuff. Uh, what's this ring then? Uh, both of them vanilla rings. I'm not buying uh, uncorrupted gear from... Um, What's the name of the raid from Nyalotha? That's completely pointless. Uh -huh. All right, so Celus, Celus, Ritualist's Reverie. It has speed, so I don't trust the pricing data, so I'm not buying, which means that we're not buying anything, so we're just reposting. Everything else is too, uh, too high. Open for business. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just have Go to, there's way too many uh, vendor materials to buy here in classic. All right, let's repost the stuff. And uh, write down uh, our uh, gold totals, which are not too impressive. Two two nine seven, six seven six zero seven. All right, nothing terrible, nothing too 
to make me really rich. rich. So we're going to go through all of the BFA realms, and uh, once we're done, we're going to end the stream. We're just I'm just doing a, a fair, relatively short one today, um, and we'll be live again on Sunday um, rather than Saturday for um, on the schedule. And on Sunday, we'll be doing Blackwing Lair. Uh, it's possible Soul Guru, but after that, or gold making, it uh, depends a little bit on on uh, what the players in my guild want to do and whether or not I get a slot. Um, I don't really have anything to do in Solgurub on my main, but it's, uh, well actually yeah, I still need one more enchant, so I have something, just not a lot to do there. Um, yeah, we're doing the shopping scan first here, uh, there we have it, item level 440, considering if I should increase it, I've had some success with the Eternal Palace BOEs. So I think I want to keep doing 440 so that they show up. Because, of course, for um, for Naya Lafa, I pretty much only buy 460 and up. I don't bother with the low item level stuff. Even if it has good corruptions. Uh, rank 2 infinite stars. I mean, that is insanely good. Do, do we have any? Uh, there's an infinite star here for 500k with speed. So I guess we have to buy that one for 220. Uh, max rank 9% haste. It's extremely expensive on the region price here. Do I even trust that pricing? What about this one? 445, yeah, not touching that. Not touching that. 300k. It's so rare I find good deals on this realm, so I almost want to just YOLO it and go for it. Um, I guess we have to. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. 520k out the window. All right. Not out the window, hopefully, into profitable stuff. 520. Uh, let's remember the... Uh, and I'm pretty sure we didn't have any meaningful sales here. So now we're starting to look at some serious lost numbers for the day. <laughs> Already almost spent a million on uh, four items in general, total. Shopping scan. You need something? Light bless you. Well met. Boom boom. What's the ones I bought here? I bought this one for 487. Was it the reverie I bought? I don't even remember. Not that it matters more much. We're posting everything regardless and uh, writing down our gold totals, which are very low. So this is so far looking like a day with uh, heavy, heavy gold decreases across the board. But uh, let's see if we can save ourselves. I gotta remember tomorrow to buy some flask materials and bring those to Blackwing there. And, uh, well, oh yeah, this is one of the few realms where I have multiple pages. That's good. That's good. I just saw like the 500 and I was like, ah, oh, oh, we didn't make it today on this realm. And then I remembered, oh, we have more. And yeah, we have more. A couple of uh, battle pets, nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. The, the, the last page, the next one, that's going to be the most exciting one by far. Um, so, okay, nothing much, nothing much. Just a, a few more battle pets. Nothing to make me rich here. But we're making some gold at least. Oh, let's, uh, let's not forget to run the post scan, shall we? Just because I'm crafting on classic on the other monitor. That's no excuse to to fall asleep. Living action potions. I wonder how those will uh, will do. Um, as we head on into the future. Did I run out on something? Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Fire protection potion. Be careful. All right. Soon finished with the scan. Of course, the scan finishes just as my crafting uh, queue finishes. And uh, now we have a little bit of time. Maybe we can make it to the mailbox on the other screen. We did it. We did it. Let's post everything. All this crafted dreadful malevolent uh, gladiator stuff from Mesta Pandaria. I don't even think there's a point, point, much of a point to posting them. Um, I just keep doing it anyway. It's a strangle cup. I didn't get enough oily black mouths, did I? I don't think so. Uh huh. Next, uh, next, next page over on the mailbox. Let us go. Fifteen thousand in sales, so nothing, um, nothing, absolutely horrendous. I mean, you have some sales. I mean, some people, some of you would probably be tr thrilled with a fifteen thousand mailbox. It's just uh, those of you, us like me, who have. Uh, been uh, uh, what's it called spoiled rotten by uh, having too much success on the auction house uh. so 110 Reading. which would mean a we don't have enough room actually so just do 40 then Start with 40 and scale from there. We can craft some of these other things. And um, let us run our shopping scan. For 440 BOEs as usual. <coughs> Actually, prices are just too high, and I'm too tired. So I'm just going to stop. Uh, we're just going to uh, repost. We're not going to do any more shopping. Um, it's, uh, it's getting too late for my brain. And uh, we did just intend to do a fairly short stream today. So. I buy and trade. So that is what we're going to do. Come on, Solanas, respond. You slow ass realm. Let us post all of these auctions so we can get moving. I don't have all day. Mm 
Ugh. Holy smokes. So just four realms to go and um, actually I remembered something that we also have to do. Um, we'll, uh, we'll do that after the last realm because I have a... Um, we gotta check on the uh, um, the material flipping experiment realm and make sure I'm on par there as well. Uh -huh. So my budget like this is the realm where I have very oh nice finally we got a BOE guys two hundred and twelve thousand I don't know two ten oh I'm lying I lied I'm trying to scam chat by lying about uh, my two thousand or uh, lying about two thousand gold that's uh, embarrassing. But uh, yeah, that's very nice. 210,000 uh, for some amount of profit. Not sure exactly what the profit is. TSM isn't that good at, uh, uh, at tracking all of these various bonus ideas. But our IDs, not ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have some stuff here that I've been posting since like Old Year or Battle of the Saralar and I'm the only one <laughs> with these variants on EU. And I always post for slightly above market value so they're all like posted for gold cap. <laughs> and I just end up laughing at it every day, every time I repost auctions on this realm and I'm like, maybe I should do something but ah, no, nah, I'm not going to do that today. I'll just... We'll do it next time. I can't be b bothered redoing the auctioning scan. Yeah, um, that, that's what I think to myself. And then a week later, I'm logging on and I'm like, what the hell? Why am I still posting these for gold cap? I'm wasting, guaranteed to waste my deposit costs. So. Gotta spend your gold on something. So deposit costs just as good or bad as anything else. Uh, so essentially, if you uh, divide one by region sale rate, you'll get the percentage of your auctions that um, that will, um, or if you divide one by the sale rate, you'll get essentially how many times you uh, um, an item will expire before it sells on average. Um, so that's the first part, the one over slash max DB region sale rate. Um, so that's just to calculate like. Uh, how often you will have to repost an auction and then 60% of first vendor sell zero uh, that's the deposit cost so like divide one by the sale rate you get how many times you have to repost one item to sell it then you just multiply that by the deposit cost and that's how much uh, um, you'll uh, how much you can expect to spend on deposit costs for trying to sell until you sell a specific item of course, your actual deposit costs and um, stuff like that might might be completely different, but that's the idea behind that string. Uh, that's just in case it doesn't find a sale rate, and then it's just going to assume that the sale rate is quite low. Um, so I didn't actually make that string myself. I lifted that one or borrowed it or stole it from uh, Billy Sonexia which I'm sure many people will be familiar with from his uh, sniper strings, stuff like that. Um, I'm actually a patron of his on Patreon. Um, so I've been looking at his um, commodity flipping setup. I don't use it out of the box because um, I like doing making my own settings, but I like to support other gold, uh, gold makers as well. Um, so that's just in case it doesn't have a sell rate. That's what the, the point of adding 0 0.05 and then you of course it's the other one um, If it doesn't have a vendor sell price, then it just Turns into zero because if it doesn't have a vendor sell price, then it means that it doesn't have a deposit cost either So that would be stuff like enchanting materials And then 
another 10 million Warbeast Tidekins. <laughs> ah, I think I see what's going on. So I have two of these items on two different realm, realms. And then when I post on one, that's going to drive up market value. And then I post a higher price on the other. And that's going to drive up region market value. And then we just trade back and forth. And suddenly we're at 10 million gold. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, so Billis actually has an even more um, advanced string that he uses, but I like to keep him as simple. Um, I like to keep them simple. Uh, I mean, that string is probably like on the edge of what I'm willing to do in terms of complexity. And wow, we do. Oh, well, we had one that we had the 210. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I was just about to say, like, today hasn't been good for BOE flipping, but we did have one 2010 um, or 210,000 uh, items selling. Um, so we're approaching the end of the stream, guys. As I said, it's going to be a little bit of a short one today. Um, so I'm, I'm super tired. Um, I started the stream a little later than I hoped when I announced it, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, but we will be streaming more often. It's it, we'll, I will be streaming on a schedule uh, for a while now. And so it's going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So just make sure you're following and you'll get a notification. Um, and then you can come hang out and talk gold making or watch our guild try to uh, speed through um, classic raids that are extremely hard. You can watch us struggle with keeping... <laughs> With everyone keeping their world world buffs alive throughout Blackwing Lair, so that they can parse on the last bosses as well. Getting closer, getting closer. These scans are so slow. In uh, did I actually check the mailbox here on Das Consortium? Yeah, it looks like I did, and there was nothing. Nothing. That's depressing. It's so sad. Can I get an F in chat? No. Yeah. So we're gonna go through there's one more boe flipping realm and then we're gonna go check out the uh, material flipping um, experiment um, and then after that we're uh, we're done for the night so it's like uh, uh, five more minutes or something like that uh, probably ten more minutes at least now that I think about it and uh, let's make sure we write down stuff correctly And Les Sentinel, let's hope the Frenchies can give me something to uh, to be happy with. I want to sell Staff of Jordan. Two hundred and fifty gold. That's not that bad. I mean, I could have been uh, could have considered that. Come on, come on. Wait, nothing? Oh, I just logged in on the same realm, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Sax. Let's try a new realm. That's going to be uh, most likely significantly more successful.
last realm onwards and upwards looking for something specific be careful stone scale oil and uh, wow 433,000 well that's a good one guys that's a good one suddenly this uh, this repo session turned out pretty good pretty good you have to have some big sales to to bring it in and uh, we did we did Uh, so then today wasn't uh, wasn't half bad. So just under just under seven hundred thousand in sales today, uh, which uh, isn't like anything crazy, uh, but it's pretty good. Probably some of you are like, "What the hell? Isn't that crazy? What are you talking about? That's insane." And some of you are probably like, yeah, all right, all right, that's right, 700,000 isn't that crazy. Um, but yeah, it's nice when you sell BOEs. So if I'm on my regular um, profit margins, I almost made a token then. Almost. I'm not quite sure because I don't. I don't know what my profit margin is on any given item. I just know it's gen typical range. Um, that's a little hard to tell because TSM can't cra uh, track it that well. We can check. We can check if we can figure it out. Um, sometimes you can't. TSM groups, no ledger, revenue. All right, so this was a hand drafts. Um, obvi obviously, this is completely incorrect. So we're looking at hand drafts of unhindered resonance and footpads of terrible delusions. Um, and it looks like I've bought them quite a... So it could be this one, and then we were looking at footpaths of terrible delusions. Uh, it has to be this one. 445. It's 445 of the boots. Those were the ones that sold for the most. They sold for 300k, I think, uh, because they have a crazy good. Uh, they have a the highest rank percentage stat increase. Um, so that's pretty good. And then the hand drops of unhindered resonance. That's just like a random bo uh, eternal palace. Just a random eternal palace boe for a hundred thousand. Yep. So guys, don't don't sleep on eternal palace boes if you want to do boe flipping. I literally just sold. Eternal Palace BOE for a hundred thousand gold. I should say that's pretty good. All right, good. So now you have to exit this, and uh, we're launching because now we're on the final stretch here. Uh, I've gone through all of my flipping realms, all of my main flipping realms. There's only one thing that I have to. Let's get this out of the way. And uh, where is the account? All right. So we just have to go to Ravencrest to check how much gold, because I forgot to write down how much gold I uh, have. Um, and I need to get something to keep my hair out of my eyes, because as you can see, like this uh, right here, it's the perfect length to just go and like poke me in the eye. Poke me in the eye. So my eyes get like really sore when I forget to put something... Um, Keep it out. All right, so Ravencrest. We're just checking how much gold I have there. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, 
and um, now we have to go to Sylvanas because this is where I'm doing this little material flipping experiment and let's see if we have any sales and we can write down our gold here 114111 cool 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 all right let's just exit that one Ooh, look at this double double long boy I don't think I've ever seen two long boys in uh, in one space okay so um, this is pretty much very typical results for what I've been doing so far I've been making about 10,000 gold in sales every day uh, with this uh, experiment so that's the typical level so we sold some more slimy mackerels that's really good because I have a huge number of those um, sold umber shards. I didn't have buy too much of that. We sold some uh, gilded sea weave. That's also nice because we have a lot of that. Um, so I'd say that's a pretty good one. So let's run the shopping scan. Well, people spend a lot of gold uh, on stuff just because you wouldn't spend X amount of gold on on whatever. Uh, doesn't mean other people think that way at all and that's something you'll have to really um, it's it's always a balance because um, on one side you have the fact that um, what was I talking about uh, on one side you have the fact you have to use yourself as an idea generator for markets like you have to consider and the way you can start doing that is to look at what are you spending gold on can I somehow make or acquire these items more efficiently uh, then you can probably profit off of it um, that's one side but the other side is that just because you wouldn't buy something does not mean that uh, someone else wouldn't yeah it's been about 10,000 gold uh, a day for for quite a while so as you can see here um, daily sales Oh, this is the total sales graph but as you can see this is the total sales since no it's not this is like the uh, the total gold spent graph yeah okay so I forgot to to change the name um, this is liquid gold yeah my auction house value has been trending upwards very slowly from my hundred thousand where I started so that's also very good uh, but the scan is done, so let's see if there's something cool to buy here. Very little, very little. Shimmer scale. Uh, yeah, shimmer scale, we've had good success with that, so we will buy shimmer scale. Um, I have a lot of malformed nashers, so I don't want to buy more. Can I buy these? Yeah, I can buy all of that. I guess we do. And now we're we're not gonna be able to buy these. Nope, too much, too much by far. So maybe some great sea catfish. We don't mind buying a smaller. Wow, twenty five thousand great sea catfish. This guy. Um, well, yeah, I scan for ores and herbs as well. Um, say look but I uh, um, I uh, um, the the operation is set to hide everything that isn't below my maximum price uh, so right now no ores show up at all as you can see I have some monolite ore that I have bought uh, so I'm doing ore I'm doing herbs I don't have any herbs on me because I haven't really found any but uh, it searches for everything, but then it hides stuff that isn't uh, isn't below my my maximum price. So mist scale, I should have seen that. No, I have mist scale. Never mind. All right, so I think we're good. We can collect that gold and record that down in the spreadsheet. So let's bring that uh, up out of the way and see how much gold do we spend. Eight four ninety plus eight eighty plus seven one six. Cool. 
10,000 gold spent. Easy. Clap. Auctioning, run post scan. Boom, and we're done. Once we finish posting this, that's going to be uh, essentially the end for today. So I'll be back again on Sunday, and I hope you join me then. Um, if, you, if you're if you starved for content, and maybe you, you are... Uh, unfamiliar with my work i write about gold making in world of warcraft uh, on my website as well the lazygoldmaker.com three times a week so do check that out there's a lot of uh, of content both for bfa and classic um and um yeah i i love the the auction now so so check that out if you're interested uh otherwise just uh come pop by when we're live again on sunday i'd really appreciate that appreciate that and i really appreciate that you took uh took the time to hang out with me on this uh chill little uh quarantine friday uh, night so yeah uh, thanks for joining me guys i hope you have a a very nice week goodbye